Is it just me or is it frustrating always hearing how easy TikTok is and that it takes zero effort, yet no matter how much you post or what you post, can never seem to grow. Now it's very easy to blame this on the algorithm or being shadow banned, but the truth is growth is not love. And after learning this along with a few other tricks, I finally found a ton of success. So today I'm talking eight life-changing tips that I wish I knew before I started TikTok. And since learning, I've been able to apply to my daily life to grow my account to over 178,000 followers with 23,000 of them being in the last 28 days. And the first tip of eight being that consistency is case by case. And what I mean by this, there is no specific value that defines consistency. It could be posting three times a day, once a day or once every other day. Consistency as a creator is up to you. It should honestly be what you're able to maintain. For example, a few months ago, I found myself posting three TikToks a day. Although I did see growth doing this, trying to maintain this for any longer than a few weeks. And after that was fully burnt out, losing all that traction I just gained and in the process, not posting for months and losing followers. So what I recommend is setting a schedule for yourself that you're able to maintain. And if you happen to have extra time and can film extra videos, don't go ahead and post them all at once. You can always draft them. But on those days that you really just don't don't feel like filming or editing, you'll always have some type of backup to be posted. This second one was honestly a huge tip for it me. It got me over a pretty big bridge that I think most creators go through, which is realizing that you're your own niche. Now, if you watch growth videos, you've heard this word thrown around a ton, and I've been told to pick one or two and to stick with it. Well, I'm here to tell you that literally anything can be a niche, and that you as a creator are a niche. And what I mean by this is that you're one of a kind. There is not one other person that's exactly like you. Meaning when you go to film a video idea and maybe it's been done, the reason you might still blow up is because if you're not copying others, you'll have your own unique opinion. And obviously when it comes to your interests, it's the same thing. For example, I love fashion and I also love photography and video. Now technically these are two very separate, very broad niches, but both of these really fit my interests. So I started making videos teaching y'all how to take better fit pics, which combines both my love for photography and my love for fashion. There are examples of people making their own niches all over the internet. And I'm sure there are even a few creators that you watch that have done this. So just because everyone's telling you to pick a niche doesn't mean that you can't be yourself and make videos about your and this third tip is super important and definitely slept on, which is staying organized. A few great ways that you can do this is by having a daily planner and writing down not only your schedule and your to-do list, but also some short and long-term goals that you want to achieve in the next few months. Another thing that I advise y'all do, especially if you're posting on multiple platforms, setting a schedule for what days you're going to film for which platform, as well as editing the days and which videos you want to film. And obviously, organization doesn't just stop with a daily planner, and I honestly can't stress this to you enough. Being a fashion influencer, I'm always making videos where I have multiple outfits so I have to have plenty of clothes out. And if it wasn't for me putting the clothes back as soon as I'm done using them in the video, then my room would literally look like a tornado. So for the sake of staying productive, as well as having a stress-free environment, make sure to stay organized. Number four is a tip that I've only implemented in the last few months, but since doing so, have felt better mentally, physically, and if you look at my videos, is honestly one of the reasons why I've been a lot more consistent, which is having a healthy diet, as well as exercising. Now, I know this may seem like it has nothing to do with videos or growing, but trust me, since I've started eating three meals a day, as well as exercising five days a week, I've been able to film a lot more, and my videos have even gotten better. Even if it's exercising for as little as 20 minutes a day, and cleaning up your diet, you'll feel plenty of energy throughout the day, and might even help you fix your sleep schedule. Tip number five, which I really love, is going viral isn't always a good thing. Now, I'd be lying to say if I said that it doesn't feel good for one of your videos to blow up, and have your phone nonstop buzzing with notifications, but there are 100% a lot more more cons than most people would think. For one, if you blow up very early on in your content journey and really haven't gotten good at making videos and have an accidental then blow in my up, opinion, you're missing out on a huge opportunity to convert these viewers into followers. When I say I've seen so many accounts that have viral video after viral video, and I'm talking tens of millions of views, yet can't even crack 50,000 followers, there's a reason why. Especially when there's accounts like mine, which haven't even gotten a video over 3 million views, yet I've gotten a lot of followers. Usually the reason behind this is because the videos that are blowing up just aren't providing value. Now when I say value, there's shock value and entertainment value, but in my opinion, the highest type of conversion, the most value that you could ever give to a viewer is teaching them something that they don't already know. I've learned this over the last two years of posting content because I've seen a direct correlation of views and followers for videos that are tutorials compared to videos that blew up for the wrong reason. So in my opinion, don't just post a blow up or get that viral video because views don't always convert into followers. Some great advice is when you do have that one video that does blow up, don't be afraid to spam as many part twos, threes, and fours as well as reply to as many comments as you can with video. This next tip is probably one of my favorites, which is never get too excited or too down with the numbers. And this one's definitely a hard one considering to some of the biggest creators ever have complained about shadow banning. But the truth is sometimes a drop in numbers happens. You're not always going to be on top of the world. And I've literally had weeks myself where I'm getting 3 million views and 15,000 new followers in literally seven days. And every video I post seems to get at least 50K plus. And the next week videos are struggling to hit 2,000 views.
views and my followers go from 700 a day to 50. I'm sorry to break it to you, but this is gonna happen. So don't let this demotivate you. Keep posting quality content and eventually you'll start to see the numbers slip again. Number seven is a method that I see all the big dogs use, which is reposting old videos. Now I know in theory, this doesn't sound like a great idea. If the video didn't blow up the first time, then why would it the second time around? The TikTok algorithm, just like other social media apps, is always changing. So just because a video didn't blow up last month, doesn't mean that if you post it today, the algorithm's gonna react the same. I've had videos that have hit 10K views in the span of two months, and then I've reposted it and it's gotten more views in literally a day. And of course, if you're worried about people complaining that you're posting the same content, just think about it like this. The average TikTok viewer is on the app watching videos for about 95 minutes a day. Just imagine the amount of videos that you're scrolling through and interacting with in a month. There's a good chance if they see your video again in a month or two, they probably wouldn't have even remembered seeing it. So really there's no risk involved. So give it a try. And my eighth and final tip that I wish I knew before I started TikTok is how much there is to be made. It's honestly insane how many stories I hear about people undercharging for brand deals or not even charging at all when they have tens to hundreds of thousands of followers. And if you're like me, I'm Canadian, so I can't even get the creator fund, but still manage to monetize my account through affiliate links, sponsored posts, my own digital products, and user-generated content. Now, of course, if you guys want me to get into more information about how you can make money using your following or all the different ways or how much you should be charging because honestly with all the information that I need to tell y'all it would need its own separate video and of course now that you have these eight tips try your best to apply it to your everyday life and just see how it improves your content and if you want some more free game today on how you can take some better pictures make sure to check out my three minute Thursday playlist here where I have plenty of different videos that are just three minutes long teaching you how to do some pretty amazing things with just your phone so as always make sure to have a good day and peace